Okay, on a bike ride, and I wanted to talk about federalism, um, because it's just something I always think about when I'm on a bike ride. Uh, It's really important to understand this concept. I I hope you're not getting lost in the details and going through chapter 9 and going, okay, it's just that chapter we could forget about federalism. Really, federalism is central to the whole, uh, it's really thematic to the entire course. Uh, There's a development of federalism in the colonial period. It's, It's an inevitable development through the development of the autonomy of the colonies that become states that want to maintain their sovereignty uh, to the need to create a national, a central government. So let's first really make sure you guys understand what the word actually even means. Um, So federalism comes from the word federated, right? To, To federate means to come together, right? To, it's a, you could use the word marry, right? To come together, it's a verb. Coming together. And what's coming together? The states and the national government. So this is what the Constitution is all about, is creating that coming together, that federation of state governments and the national government. What ensues, make sure it's safe across the street here. Yep. Okay. What ensues is a debate between Jefferson and Hamilton and and their various surrogates and allies where Jefferson um, agrees, yes, the state governments and the national government need to come together in cooperation. Hamilton is going to argue the um, national government and the state governments need to come together in submission. That is, the state governments have to be submissive to the national government when they are federated, right? So that argument is going to ensue from really the Washington administration when Hamilton proposes the National Bank. It is going to ensue under the Marshall Court with a lot of his decisions, strengthening the Hamiltonian idea of what it means to have a federated government of autonomous state governments in line with a national government being submitted to that national government. Now, where this becomes an issue and how understanding federalism is going to be very helpful in responding to the uh, Unit 3 essay prompt is understanding how the South is going to feel increasingly uh, anxious about the institution of slavery under a strong government, uh, a strong national government that is insisting that the states submit their sovereignty to that national government. All right, so they're worried about the future of the institution of slavery. Um, and this becomes more acute. This anxiety becomes more acute after the 1820s. Um, and so each decade from that, as we get into the Jackson era, into the rise of the Whigs, Uh, and to the rise of the Republican Party, what you are seeing is that anxiety coming to a head when we get to the civil, when we get to Lincoln's election and the South seceding and forming its own government and nation called the Confederate States of America. Um, You're going to see, right, this disagreement of the word of the concept and the practice of federalism bringing a nation uh, to war with itself, right? So do keep that in mind and let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye.